John Beer made a mistake. Did he? Did he? I mean, he distracted. You know, I, I, I don't know why he called the Arabian Arabic Gulf, the Arabian Gulf, the Fergus Persian Gulf. And, you know, it, made, it makes no sense to me. You know, historically, it was always, always the Persian Gulf. And, Did you, you know, ever question him? Did I questioned him. I said, he, he just said, he just shrugged his shoulders and said, you know, maybe I, I don't know my, my geography, but I said, there's not so much geography. It has to do with national pride, national heritage, you know, it's like calling, um, I don't know, calling Quebec a, a free country. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but what, you know, what, now, now we know what the, the issue is, how, how do you, how do you want, what, 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 what kind of thing are you looking for, what do you want me to, to, do, to do, I mean, did, did he, I, I think he made, he, he, did he do a, um, a statement to, to make well, I think he, he took an opportunity of Noroz to sell to sort of a, yeah, uh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, he, and, message, yeah. Uh, he went all the way out of mm -hmm. his way to mm -hmm. actually congratulate people from mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Persian Gulf mm -hmm. area yeah. who don't even celebrate Noroz. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. this was not meant to happen. I forgot to put my mm -hmm. mobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, remember, I remember that statement because I, I saw it. Um, and I said, okay, he, he made an apology, and... Um, it's not an apology. No, he didn't. No, no, he no, didn't. no they, they just, like, well, worked they just made a statement, yeah. Thing, yeah. And somehow they worked that term, which I wrote the Prime Minister and the mm -hmm. Minister of Foreign Affairs, and uh, never apologized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those wink-wink, okay, mm, I guess, the mm -hmm. real name is mm -hmm. original. Mm -hmm. so, so, so actually, um, mm -hmm. uh, given, uh, given your sentence, um, we, we're just here to ask whether there's anything that you would like to do and if we could assist you in that matter and mm -hmm. whether you would like to come out uh, openly and say, you know, you're happy to that. Whatever, okay, whatever works nice. for you. Uh, with all due respect, um, the reason why I think a lot of Iranians were concerned about this mm -hmm. is first of all, Canada shouldn't engage in these types of things because mm -hmm. it's none of our business really whether you know, the Arabs call it one thing and the Persians another. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, uh, this was not the first time that Minister Baird had actually uh, oh, referred to it as the is Arabian it? Gulf. Yes. So I, I can even understand the slip of the time the first time. Yes. But to do it repeatedly, I'm sorry, that's not just not knowing your geography, yeah. not having yeah. a memory. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's something that concerns us a great deal. So it appears to us that it must have been intentional if if this is, uh, you know, the third time he's actually referred to this. Anyway. And listening Mr. Harper and John Bell, both of them mention <coughs> Persian Gulf, it means they did the research and they know very well it's Persian Gulf. Mm -hmm. But my question here is, if it was a mistake, why it should be resolved that way? Why so long? Two months. And I believe they were aware, we sent at least 15 letters from representatives of the community, from the leaders, none of them there were answered. And for me, uh, reacting toward a mistake done by them and resolving it this well, way is a little... Me, I, I, I'm just suggesting, although I don't know what this is the case or not, it's, it's a way to provoke the government of Iran. Exactly. Yeah, it's not, it's not designed to, to, to malign or to be disrespectful to the Iranian Canadians, you know, I mean... But as you know, there, there are a few countries that we treat as 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 enemies of 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 freedom and, and democracy in, in Iran, uh, North Korea, uh, maybe Palestine because of uh, well, not so much Palestinians, but you know Hezbollah and Hamas and uh, and other terrorist organization like Al Qaeda. You know, sometimes they they do these things to 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 provoke a reaction. I, I don't think it was deliberate. I mean, I, I didn't think that the reaction was going to be so so strong coming and from the And this is the other point that we mentioned in our letter. Mm -hmm. We have this impression that the mm -hmm. conservative government, mm -hmm. they don't differentiate between Iranian regime, Iranian government, mm -hmm. and the people yeah, of Iran. People run, and right. also, not only there, mm -hmm. even here, it means there is my impression is there is no respect for the 200,000 Iranians that they are living here. Mm -hmm. 
And also when I see, for example, the send letter to uh, four uh, conservative MPs, mm -hmm. none of them answer. Mm -hmm. I have to meet you at the uh, church and the Suri, the fire. That's not true. I did, I did respond. He said you have to make an appointment with my staff to know when no, I'm, I'm here. No, I'm sorry. I didn't receive. If I, did, I didn't see you at the uh, fire ceremony. I couldn't have this uh, meeting. And it's not only you. None of them. Mm -hmm. And the only one who answered us, it was Joe Daniel, that the way that he received us, it was, I believe, it was not fair and it was humiliating. In total, I can say that the community, we are here and we represent our individual. We are not representing the community, but what we are saying is exactly what the community think. Mm -hmm. We have this impression that conservatives, they are not very friendly toward our community, even here. We are not uh, uh, talking about the regime or Iranian people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, so, so all that's maybe that's your impression. Uh, and I completely yeah. understand you're, you're now saying that was uh, directed at the Iranian government. But, but as Mr. Shams was saying, you, you, you know, you have to make a distinction between Iranians here and, and, and the government. In but, but we do. You have to even. I, I would even take it one step further. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have to make a distinction between Iranians living in Iran and the government. In well. And, and this is uh, one of the lessons to be learned yeah. for the rest of the world. If I may add time. just one, I'm sorry yeah. before you, if I may just add one thing to that, is that I would go a step further and say that the government of Canada has to uh, pay attention and, and respect uh, and differentiate between the sovereignty of Iran and the regime of Iran. Because there's under no circumstances that the sovereignty of Iran is is, should be under question mm -hmm. that that as we are Canadians and we are, we are proud to be well, I, I'm not yet but mm -hmm. <laughs> but but we, we are very happy and very proud to be here and part of this country this mm -hmm. community but then we are Iranians too mm -hmm. and and the sovereignty of Iran is uh, is extremely important to us so I think this is where the Canadian government doesn't realize that playing politics is fine. You know, mm -hmm. Every government plays politics, mm -hmm. but but it should be kept as as an as as a means of politics. But it, it should not go beyond that. That that it is not becoming of the government of a, of a first world country mm -hmm. to um, decide that let's today call Japan Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, it it is actually. Um, it, it ridicules that government, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm shocked that people like yourself and the conservative ministers and all that and the MPs mm -hmm. have not taken a strong stand against him mm -hmm. to say that how could you do this? Mm -hmm. That we have respect in the in the in the world community, mm -hmm. and how could you how could you do this? How could you call um, France uh, Algeria? Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. That they, he's playing with the with the sovereignty of the country, mm -hmm. and just because he thinks it's funny that let's let's tickle the Iranian regime, and, and we as a community here, honestly, we are fed up with the, all this tickling which is going on because um, one day we wake up and we find out that we no longer have our, have our bank accounts with TD, and in the middle of the night, eleven at night, we receive phone calls saying that come and take your account, we, we close down your account. Here's a letter. And, and we only honor your um, mortgages till the term ends. Mm -hmm. Why are you playing with our lives as if none of us are, are mad? Why, why did you allow immigration to Iranians as if you're treating us like second class citizens? We are here because we want to be here. Mm -hmm. And we want to be Canadians and we want to be proud Canadians. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that we have to be punished for, for, uh, for what a regime might be doing uh, you, you know? I, I think that is the most difficult thing for us to do. You know, we, we took a very principled position in where we stand with respect to the existence of a right to statehood for Israel. And therefore, any country that seems to oppose to that, you know, becomes on the opposite side of us. But it doesn't mean that we don't respect what Iranians uh, uh, you know, Iranian uh, you know, refugees or whatever here. I mean, we set up for uh, Mrs. Kassami, the one, the journalist that was uh, murdered. No, no, you know? yeah, the conservative government wasn't in power when the Kazanians didn't happen. And truth well, be told, the liberals actually took a very strong stand yeah, on that issue. Yeah. And that's when 
um, uh, the human rights reports. It's funny because the conservatives say we, you know, take the Iranian government to task on human rights at the mm -hmm. UN. That started before the conservatives came to power. Those things the liberals have started on them. You know, yes, that's something that happened in the past, but you, you know, I mean, we, we withdrew our embassy there because uh, we declared them as on my brother because they were spying on, uh, on us and and so these, these are the actions that we have taken. It's, well, it's not against the people. But I'm sorry, well, again, uh, I mean, we, uh, but, um, again, the job of a government is, in the event the Iranian diplomats here from the Iranian government were spying, mm -hmm. I don't know of anyone who thinks, of, there are very few people who say that was the best means to deal with it. If I had been the Canadian government and I realized that the Iranian diplomats were spying up on mm -hmm. the Canadian government or on Iranians here, I would have actually really embarrassed the Iranian government, and the best way to have done that would have mm -hmm. to have caught them in the act, mm -hmm. and to have humiliated them, and to have mm -hmm. had a demarche, and, and to have sent that, those diplomats back to Iran. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's the way you do that. That's, that's not how we did it. it. No, 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 I think in effect, but basically, what's happening, and we're not here to question the foreign policy of this government, mm -hmm. but the, basically that they've taken a closer stand with the, with the Israelis, which is fine. But it doesn't mean that you bend backwards to please Israelis and 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 keep tickling tickling as you put it uh, the, the Iranian government. That what happens with 150 to 200 thousand Iranians who live here who have no embassy? That did, do you care that we have nowhere to go to? Something happens to us and we, we you know we, we have families who we, we need to travel. We still have documents. Somebody like me who's still not a Canadian, so it means that I travel with my Iranian passport. So does the government care that there is no more embassy here for me? But then yet again, it was so easy for the government to close down the embassy. Um, so how do you how do you get your passport renewed? Well, I, just that as it happened, that I haven't needed to renew it yet, and I'm still waiting. Fingers crossed for my for the Canadians to call me for my citizenship, mm -hmm. considering that it's been eight years that I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. But but what I'm saying is that then making decisions just because mm -hmm. um, a policy dictates that today, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it may not do that in six months' time, and the drastic decisions and not not taking into account the effect that and the after effects that it has on the community. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you are not taking this community seriously. We are two hundred thousand strong Canadians here mm -hmm. who are contributing strongly to the economics of this country. You can see that we are. We are indulging in the politics. We, there, there are more and more of us entering politics, local politics of this country. Instead of encouraging us to feel more Canadian and to feel more a part of this society, you are alienating us and cornering us. And that one day our money is no longer available. Next day our, you know, our, 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 the, the country is renamed. So what do we tell our children? That, that our identities are, are the question, uh, under question. And it is not a healthy thing. So a lot of, did you know that a lot of Iranians are actually going back? Some people might say, oh, well, you know, who cares? But we care because we want more Iranians here. We want a stronger community here. We want to be a part of Canada. We don't want to be guests here. Or uh, guest is a, is, a, is a good word, well, actually. Can I continue something? Please do. Uh, uh, it's not an impression. This is what the majority of Iranians, they feel that uh, Canadian government doesn't consult Iranian when they make decision mm -hmm. their policy with Iran. But what they do, they gather a few people that themselves they say they are not the leader of the committee, but they present them as the leader somehow to show as an approval of their policy. Mm -hmm. This is also something that bothers the committee. This, these people, they say they are not leaders and they are not representing. Mm -hmm. But when you see the uh, press conference of Mr. Jason Kenny, they said they, they met the leaders of the committee. And somehow they play a role by taking some pictures that is approved. And this creates some frustration in the committee. It means we lose our trust to, to our uh, government. But when there are so many groups, how do you know who's a, a, the Iranian? I mean, you have the Iranian Canadian Congress, you have you know, the Iranian Business Association, you have all these. Where do you, where, where do you, how do, how do we as government know who's the leader? Exactly. Yeah. It's, up, it's, up to you. it's up to you to present that. Then how do you call them it's the leaders of the community? No, we, we, we consult them. We consult all of them. Uh, you, you can know? call me to, to the next meeting. Yeah, and I will tell meeting. you that I'm no. the leader of my community. <laughs> we have the impression that you are selective. Yeah, you have to, you have to, then, then we need 
to do is form an association and register it with us. Register with me in multiculturalism. Because otherwise it's hard to, you know, it's hard to uh, know that. Yeah, it's just that what we're trying to say is that the community is used for the for for the sake of the the, yes, the, the yes, foreign yes. policy of this uh, of yes, this government. Yes, it is. And, and and yes, you're saying it is, but it's not a nice feeling left with the community mm -hmm. that when you need to bash Iran, you put together mm -hmm. a bunch of Iranians mm -hmm. who would say, you know, yes, 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 they be agree with everything you're saying. So, so, so what they do don't do not, they do not represent the community. Yes. You need to have. Then give me a position a, paper. Tell me what. You know, what represents you rather than all of the complaints that you have against us? You know, I mean, no, it's, no, no, no. It's I, I mean, you, you just admitted, sir, that, yeah. um, you know, a policy making, I mean, yeah. that responsible policy making is to think of the consequences mm -hmm. that our foreign affairs has but on but people who are Unfortunately, you no? do not have that mindset because these are all Anglo Canadians. They do not have the same mindset. If they ask me what Asian Canada's Asian policy is, I can tell them we do not have an Iranian, uh, someone like no, some already that is, you know, that is in uh, the, in, in the apartment that presents that mindset. That's what is needed. So sh in the absence of that, so, then so, it's so up to you to present this. No, no I, I don't believe that. Le uh, listen, um, uh, um, for, for our foreign policy establishment or mm -hmm. for uh, whatever decision you do want to make mm -hmm. that implicates a community in this country, mm -hmm. uh, the, the onus is on the government to act responsibly mm -hmm. in the event they, they want to come through and make sure that uh, it doesn't hurt people who are living here and are rightfully Canadian. Sure, they have a right right to, to reach out and, mm -hmm. and, and do those things. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this particular case, in case Mr. Schatz is talking about, a lot of issues happen with our community. Mm -hmm. They're already fait accompli. And then after those decisions are made, you call in you know, 10 people and say, oh, we met with the leadership mm -hmm. of, of this community, and we have determined that all was well. Mm -hmm. you, you can't do it that way. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not responsible. We don't like to get sideswiped on every single issue all the time, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it's not just you know it's an Iranian issue. Any community, I think the Canadian government should do a much better job of making sure mm -hmm. that they are not needlessly sideswiped or hurt mm -hmm. by uh, by all the actions of the government. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, all, all I can I said I'm not an expert on Iran. I think sometimes I do have better knowledge than my colleagues. But uh, mm -hmm. all I can say is that you know, uh, unfortunately, I'm not in that foreign affairs uh, sure. department, so I, I can't do that. I can only give them the guidance from the multiculturalism side. Sure. And um, and of course, it's my interest to make sure that you know, in respecting the diversity of our community, but, you know, I know that you've met with me, then you will be registered with. My staff, and uh, there's something that concerns the um, mm -hmm. the community. I mean, I mean, we, you know, like what I keep telling them all the time is that we are now past the stage of just appearing at a Nauru celebration or at a, mm -hmm. or appearing at a, mm -hmm. you know, some sort of summer barbecue, and, and that's multicultural. That is not multicultural. Multiculturalism is beyond that. We have to deal with, you know, the the, the global community and how we react in trade, in commerce, in uh, culture. In, exactly. in, and one of the things that I, that I say to them all the time is that you know, we have a resource in Canada of a multicultural society that we have not leveraged at all. We don't leverage it. And I said it's still a, a Anglo-Quebec-centric type of um, mentality. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you very much for your time.